iffy about this shelf because I was trying to do something a little different and like more aesthetic, but I really don't know how I feel about it. I might have to move some stuff around. Moved it around a bit and I think I like that a bit better. I was trying to make this look like kind of aesthetic, but I feel like I need to pick one, like either do like hard covers or like soft covers, but I also wanted to try to keep it in alphabetical order. So this is the issue, but I'm gonna leave it like this for now, I think, and then like I can always move it around later. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with this shelf because I really don't like it because it just doesn't make any sense. So I'm really not sure what I should do with it. So I had an idea that like all my fairy loot books maybe could go here, but only the ones with like colored, like painted pages, like turned out so that you can see them. Um, I also have Girl Serpent Thorn, but it's all annotated and it's like really big and the color, I don't know if it would work. So I'm trying to decide if I want to add that to this or not. Um, but I think I like this. I think I like the look of the color right now. Okay, so this is subject to change, but this isn't the first shelf. It's my Cassandra Claire shelf. Um, I have my little fairy loot thing on the side and the leaves and stuff. This is more of like an educational shelf kind of. Um, this has like psych books. That's like a paranormal psychology book. And then like, that's like another psych book. So yeah, that's more kind of on that front. This is like urban fantasy, um, and I think I kind of like the way this is organized, um, but we'll see if I end up moving stuff. This is contemporary. Um, this is probably going to move this guy somewhere else. I'm just not sure. I think he'll probably end up on this shelf once my Halloween houses go away, and if this shelf, like, I'll do something with it, um, then he'll probably end up on this shelf. But so this is my contemporary, and then this is my fantasy, which I think I kind of like the way it turned out. I have like all my candles on the bottom and everything, but yeah, I think I like the way it turned out so far. I'm going to have these two shelves to work with. Um, once my Halloween houses go away, the shelves moving back up, and then I'll have two like clear shelves. So right now I just have like overflow like bookish stuff that I don't know what to do with yet. And then down here, this is just like, I have like a bunch of cups and mugs in there and everything. Okay, this is kind of my dystopian sci-fi shelf. Um, yeah, I like the way this one came out. Then this is like kind of overflow fantasy. Um, most of these I haven't read, so I don't know how many of them are actually fantasy. And then um, this has like my reusable straws and everything. Um, then this is like my favorite shelf because this is all of my classics and um like mythology like greek mythology stuff um so yeah that's pretty cool um i'm sure all of this will be subject to change a little bit because once i read the books that are on my tbr card then they're gonna need a home so i'm sure i'll be moving it around again but for now this shelf has my sarah J. mass and my v.e schwab um that i've read because most of the other stuff i own is on my tbr cart um, and then this is my fairy loot, like, painted books with the colors. I found my Star Darter one, so I think that really completes it. I like the way those look, like, turned out. And then this is my Harry Potter shelf, which we're not going to pay much attention to for certain reasons, but it's still there because, you know, I own the books, so. Um, and they're, like, my family books, so they have, like, sentimental value. Um, but yeah. Okay, so that is my shelves. I think I'm pretty much happy with it. Um, I really like the way the fairy loot one turned out, like turning out the colors. I think that was a really good idea. Um, yeah, I'm sure this will change a little bit, but I wanted to change my system. I really liked the color, like the rainbow shelves, but I kind of wanted to do them by genre and then alphabetical so that it was easier to find the books I was looking for because I feel like I was forgetting that I owned things. Um, so yeah, so I'm pretty happy with it so far. Um, I'm sure it'll move as like I finish books that are on like my TBR cart and things like, you know, switch out a little bit. Um, but yeah, for now, I like it and I'm happy with it. While I was cleaning, I also unhauled some books um, because I just want my bookshelf to be more of a representation of 
who I am and what I like. Also, I was running out of space and I want to be able to display the books that I'm excited about and I like rather than hold on to ones that I just keep in because I'm like, oh, why buy it? Um, so I got rid of books that I'm either never going to read that I'm either never going to read or I read and I didn't like and they like don't bring me joy anymore. So yeah, I'm not positive what I'm going to do with them yet, but I think the first step was just getting them off my shelves and like putting them in a box so that everything's kind of neater. Um, it's a process though, so I'm sure I'll get rid of more eventually, but so after much internal debate, I decided it's time to get rid of my Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. Um, I love Sarah J. Mass, I love Akatar, and I have Crescent City, but I read the first Red Throne of Glass, it took me like months to get through it, and then I DNF'd this one, and it's been like a ridiculous number of years, like maybe even five or four, I don't know, and I never picked it back up, so I just know that I'm not going to. Um, so I think it's time to say bye. Next, I am getting rid of The Burning Sky by Sherry Thomas. The Looking Glass Wars by Frank Bedore and The Enemy by Charles Higginson. I don't really know what any of these books are about. I have had them on my shelf for, again, like five years. I have never picked them up, never felt the urge to pick them up. I've never even attempted to read them. So I think if I haven't read them now, I'm not going to read them. And there's so much other cool stuff out there that I would rather read and invest my time into. And on the same note as that, I'm also getting rid of Chase the Dark by Anita Marie. I don't even remember where I got this book. I don't remember getting this book. I've had this one again, I think, for like, I don't know, five years. Never picked it up. I don't even remember getting it. So it's time to say bye. Same goes for Rook by Sarah Cameron. Um, I mean, Shannon, Sharon Cameron. My Outer Bank self is coming out. Um, by Sharon Cameron. I don't remember really when I got this. I've had it for like years and I've never picked it up or wanted to pick it up. Um, and I've never really heard a lot about it either. And then I'm also getting rid of Maximum Ride by James Patterson. I've had this one for many, many years. Um, and I've never really felt the need to pick it up. Um, I feel like if I were to ever read this series, which I honestly don't know if I will because it's like a series and I don't know if I really want to get invested in it. Um, but if I do, I feel like it would be something that I read on Kindle or like audiobook. So there's just, there's no need for me to own the first book anymore. And I'm also getting rid of The Hidden and the Hollow by Jessica Verday. These were like some of the first books I ever bought, I think, and I have never read them. And I bought them when I was like in middle school. So if I haven't read them yet, I'm not going to read them. Also, I think this is like the first and the third one because I accidentally bought the third one first for some reason that's just me I guess um but yeah I just I don't see myself ever reading this and I feel like if I did ever read them again I could just get it on Kindle like it's just not something I need to own I'm also getting rid of the Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare because I have another copy of this all of my Cassandra Clare books like every single one but this one are in the original like first edition like style um and while I do think that these are really gorgeous I'm not the type of person to buy like multiple copies of a series and like the other books have so much sentimental value to me that I never see myself like switching to get these and if I did it would be like the Moral Instrument series that I bought um or I get like a box set so I just I don't really need to own just the one so getting rid of just this just because I already own it and lastly I'm getting rid of The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen I got this in the fairy loot box and I read it and I gave it three stars. It didn't really do anything for me. I'm never gonna read it again. It was just meh. Like, I just, it was just there. Like, it's not really memorable. I'm never gonna read it again. And like, I was like debating keeping it because like, one, the map is pretty, and two, like, I really like the Fairy Lou cover art. And it's a really pretty book, like, naked. Um, but then, I also was like, if this was a book that I really didn't do anything for me, then why am I keeping it? Like, if I'm never going to read it, it's just taking up space. So, I forced myself to get rid of this. So, yeah, that's my own haul. That's what I'm getting rid of. Um, I didn't really count. I think it was 12. I think I counted last night. I think it was about 12 books that I got rid of. 
Um, I'm sure I'll get rid of more eventually, but I'm the type of person I have to do it like in tiny increments because I hate getting rid of stuff. I'm a pack rat. It gives me anxiety to get rid of things, so like I have to do it really slowly. Um, so that's what I'm getting rid of for now. I feel pretty good about getting rid of it. I don't really think I'm going to regret getting rid of any of them. Um, and if I do, well, I can always buy it again, but I really don't think I'm going to need to. So yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed. Comment down below how you organize your bookshelf. Um, be sure to subscribe for more content. I will see you guys on when, no, on Friday with the next video. Bye.